The question paper will be set for 60 marks. Remaining 40 marks will be for the internal examination. This is the formula we are going to use for permutations NPR and for the combinations we are going to use NCR. If f of x and g of x are two functions and the function from f to g that is the composition of the function we are going to study in this relation. Hello dear students welcome to this session of discrete mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan faculty department of computer science with the from first grade college the temple of excellence today in this session i am going to discuss regarding the syllabus for second semester bca for the subject discrete mathematics of mysore university according to this new education nep new education policy the discrete mathematics subject which is prescribed by the University of Mysore for second semester BCA, second sem BCA. The subject is discrete mathematics. Now let me know what are the syllabus. So in this discrete mathematics, you are going to study for uh, 60 marks. This the question paper will be set for 60 marks. So this is a 60 marks question paper and the minimum pass is 21 out of this 60. So, 21 is the passing criteria in this subject. Now, in this, what are the main chapters, the units you are going to study is, there are only 3 units, each unit carries 20, 20, 20, 20 marks for each unit. So, first unit carries 20 marks, second unit carries 20 marks and third unit carries, so totally 20 plus 20 plus 20 that is equal to 60, 3 units are there. So, this is the foundation code. So, the first unit you are going to study regarding the foundation of basic structure and counting. So, here in the first unit, I will explain in detail what are the contents are there in the first unit. The first unit is the foundation of uh, basic structures of counting and the second one is uh, advanced counting techniques and uh, induction, some mathematical induction and uh, discretion. So, here advanced counting techniques mathematical induction and uh, recursion of uh, the topic we are going to study. Whereas in the third unit, the very important one is the relation and the graph of the function. So these are the main three units which we are going to study in the discrete mathematics structure. Now let us come to the first unit. In the first unit, the detailed study of the first unit, the foundations. What are the foundations? Usually the foundations in this you are you are going to study regarding the logic, sets, relations and functions, mathematical relations of uh, matrices and the determinants. So here the first foundation is logic and the proof, logic and the proofs are, that is the proportional logic, application of proportional logic, proportional equivalence, predications, quantifiers and nested quantifiers rules of interference, introduction of proofs of uh, methods and the strategies. So usually in this first logic, you are going to study regarding the constructions of uh, two tables like uh, the propositions, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional and some logically equivalent statements and uh, then the proofs like uh, tautology and the contradiction, the basic things you are going to study in this uh, logic and the proofs. And whereas in the second basic structures, we are going to study regarding the sets, relations and the functions. So sets, the construction of S sets and the functions, different types of functions and the sequences and sum of matrices, sum or difference of the matrices that is the algebra of matrices like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication of matrices like uh, scalar multiplication as well as the matrix multiplication and uh, sets, the operations on sets, function, sequence and summation and the matrices. So here in the second basic structure we are going to study, this is very important and easiest one, the sets, functions and relations, the operations on sets like union of sets, intersection of sets, difference that is the complementation of sets as well as different types of functions like 1, 1 function, on 2 functions and the relations as well as the types of functions and different uh, concepts of uh, matrices like addition, subtraction and scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication, the basic fundamental things you are going to study in this uh, basic structure of the first unit. 
and whereas if you come to the third part in this first unit is counting that is nothing but the counting principles that is like a pigeonhole principle permutations and combination binomial coefficients of uh, the permutations and the combination and generating permutations and the combination so here in this third content you are going to study regarding basic counting like pigeonhole principles of uh, using the permutations and combination so and uh, generating the permutations and the combination so here mainly deals with uh, the pigeonhole principle and the problems based on uh, permutations and combinations so you might have been studied in your previous classes the permutations like uh, NPR this is the formula we are going to use for permutations NPR and for the combinations we are going to use NCR so based on this we are going to form the permutation and combination these are the few things which we are going to study in uh, the first unit that is the foundations okay these are all foundations just since this is a foundation subject discrete mathematics just you are going to study regarding the definition the constructions the properties in detail that is it. Now let us come to the second unit whereas in unit number 2 this also approaches 20 marks the advanced counting techniques a little bit on advanced from this. So the application of recurrence and the relations the relations and the advantages of uh, recurrence relation and solving linear recurrence and the relations solving the linear inequalities and the linear recurrence then divide and conquer algorithms so division algorithm and the recurrence relations generating function inclusion exclusion and also the applications of a inclusion and exclusion so main concept we are study regarding the division algorithm and uh, inclusion and exclusion and the application of uh, inclusion and exclusion in this relations and that is in a recurrence relations now whereas if you come to the second part of the unit 2 induction and recurrence so here induction means we are going to study regarding the mathematical induction so to establish the validity of a statement we are going to use the concept of induction that is mathematical induction the same concept we are going to study in the second unit we are going to study regarding induction and recursion so here in this we are going to study regarding the mathematical induction and the principle of mathematical induction and strong induction and the well ordering recursive definitions and the structural induction recursive algorithm and the program and the corrections these are the things which we are going to study in uh, the induction and the recursion now if we come to the third unit this is also very important and the weightage for this also 20 marks so here you are going to study regarding the relation relation again what we have studied in the first unit same continued in the third unit also that is the operations on relations composition of relation closer operation on relation equivalence relation and partial operations on relation and representation of a relation so here the properties of relations as well as the composition of relation and closer operation on relation equivalence relation and the partition operation on relation representing the relation so usually in this relation you are going to study just a relation and different type of relations like uh, properties like reflexive relation symmetric relation transitive relation as well as the equivalence relation you might have been studied in your previous classes reflexive symmetric transit and equivalence relations and the problems based on that and the composition of functions like uh, Fog and Goff, F0 G and G0 F composition if F of X and G of X are two function then the function from F to G that is the composition of the function we are going to study in this relation and the representation of the sets as well as the relation representing a set in a diagram that is one diagram that things we are going to study in this relation. Now next the last concept in this unit number 3 is the graphs. So this is also a very simple concept and important one graphs and graph model the construction of the graphs and the graph model construction of the models and the graphs and graph terminology and special type of graphs representation of graphs and graph isomorphism. So the representation of a graph as well as the construction of a graph 
and the isomorphism of the graph and also the connectivity. So, connectivities are very important in this graph theory and uh, Euler's and Hamilton path. So, Euler's theory, Euler's graph as well as the Hamilton path and the shortest path problem, the shortest distance problem that is the shortest path problem and uh, planar graphs and uh, graph coloring. These are the few concepts which we are going to study in the graph theory that is graph and the graph model and the graph terminology and the special type of graphs and the representation representing graph and graph isomorphism as well as the very important concept is Euler's theory, Euler's concept on graph and uh, Hamilton path, shortest path problems as well as the planar graphs. So these are the few concepts which we are going to study in uh, the unit number three. So in total there are three units. So that is in these are all the for since the chapter the concept itself is the fundamental thing the discrete mathematics just we are going to study regarding the fundamental concepts of all these concepts that is uh, generally sets relations functions mathematical induction and counting and the graph theory these are the few concepts which we are going to study in all these three units as the fundamentals. So, this is what you are going to study in, uh, in the second semester BCA prescribed by the University of uh, Mysore, okay. So, in all these three units, you are going to get each unit carries 20, 20, 20. So, totally 60 marks. The question paper will be set for 60 marks. Remaining 40 marks will be for the internal examination internal one. So, here the minimum pass marks will be the 35 percent of uh, 60 is 21 marks. Minimum pass is 21 marks is required to pass this subject. So, if you concentrate on any two units, so definitely you will get uh, 40 marks from this. So, definitely you will score good marks if you concentrate all the three units. So, it is very easy to score good marks in this discrete mathematics if you concentrate on these three units. So, very few concepts you are going to study, very simple concepts you are going to study in this uh, discrete mathematics of a uh, second semester BCA. Now, usually the question paper will be in the pattern of uh, one mark questions, two marks questions and uh, five marker questions will be in the examination. So, usually you may expect uh, definitions and some uh, properties as for a one marker and a simple constructions of solving the problems on sets, relations, functions and matrices for two markers and a five marker questions. So, in general, so you are going to study only the three units that is the first unit one is a, a foundation, second one is the advanced counting techniques and the third unit is the relation. This is very simple unit. In this unit three, you are going to study regarding the relations and the functions, the operations on relations and type of relations and equivalence relations and the problems based on this. Whereas, if we come to the second unit, the very important concept you are going to study regarding the, the advanced counting techniques of recurrence relations and uh, the mathematical induction. Whereas, if we come to the first unit, the very simple concept you are going to study along with sets, relations and functions is mathematical logic and matrices that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of uh, matrices. That is all regarding this introduction class. So, let me meet uh, with the concept class in the next section. Thank you. Attend all the classes and watch regularly. So, it will be more benefit for you. Thank you. Thank you very much.